Today, Norway 4 Bravo Alpha Alpha, Strawn, Indiana. We just completed the uh, grounding for the 130 foot 55G tower in preparation for our final inspection next week. The tower is uh, completed. There's three ring rotors on it now. It's got a fourth one that goes at the 121 foot level. And there'll be one Pro Systol PST61 at the very top, which turns the two element 40 and the nine element six. And before we put all that up there, we want to get the township to take a look at it, or the county. There's the bucket at the bottom of the tower with all of the rope in it. Uh, Going to pull the, uh, a couple of plates up later on. However, we've left all the wire on top of the ground so the inspector can see it. That will be buried about six inches when we're done after he says it's good. But I use these Hager one-shots. And there it's an exothermic way of connecting solid copper ground wire. I believe this is number six or four, I forget. I believe it's four. Um, to a ground rod with very low resistance and you don't have to worry about the connection at all. If you look on my YouTube channel, you can see how they work and I have a demonstration on what one looks like when you're lighting it off. But this is a four banger. Uh, one run goes to the shack and the other three run, uh, excuse me, one goes to the shack one goes to the tower leg, and the other two go to the other ground rods on either side of the tower. So this is the south connection. It runs to the left to the northwest ground rod. This is a Hager three banger. One to the tower leg, one from the ground rod we just came from, and the other one goes to the northeast section. The northeast ground rod's done a little bit differently. This is a three banger, but uh, and that has one going to the tower leg, it's not connected yet and one goes to the other ground rod to the northwest and one goes to the one on the south this leg is a little different in that I added an inch and a half solid copper strap uh, from the ground which I soldered on there with some high quality silver solder and connected it to the leg in this kind of fashion so this is really a uh, heavy duty uh, pipe clamp if you will with a uh, stainless steel shim between the copper strap and the tower to prevent bimetallic corrosion and that has served me well in the past I had a piece laying around so I figured I'd go ahead and use it the inside is also in the shack utilizes all copper strapping no braids uh, braids are for a girl's hair HI. However, solid copper is the way to go. And uh, looking forward to the inspection. Then I'll bury these wires. And then uh, we will be in a uh, good position to move forward with the antenna installations. We'll be filming that one in its entirety. Should happen in about three weeks. We'll have a 150 foot crane on site and we'll lift all nine antennas on this tower. And uh, hopefully we'll get it all done in about three and a half hours. As we're panning, that's the quarter wave 160 meter vertical with 13,000 feet of radials, 100, quantity of 100, 130 feet long each. Until next time, this is Jose, 73.